Um, 22 games with Waratahs. Uh, before missing out most of the season due to injury. Um, keen to assert yourself into the starting stuff for next season, I'm guessing. Um, how are you going with your return with your... You played last week? Yep. On the weekend? So, uh, coming back from injury, I was fortunate enough to play in the um, grand final. From then on, uh, I've been able to uh, make it to the Wallaby squad, so I'm um, coming at the moment. Playing in RC. Seeing stars and so just working up from there. How's your um, recovery? Yeah, recovery's been well. So I've uh, been out for 16 weeks. I uh, had my first um, 80 minute game last week, so um, um, it's very humbling to be back. So, yeah. Have you learned anything about um, injury management during this big period off, during this huge time off that you've had? Um, I think just as a person, so. Um, you learn a huge bit, so it's, it's a really test of uh, faith, a test of character. So um, I think generally Polynesians um, they get a bit depressed when they're um, down in the dumps. So it, it, it's finding the, the things that keep you on the right path. So uh, keeping the faith, um, the daily Bible lessons, um, Israel Flow and Sakopi Kepi really drive that in the, the Waratahs. So um, faith is really strong with us. So. It wasn't so much a, a battle to get back on the field, but just a mental battle, just being able to be positive and show up to train. Oh, your playing goals for next year? Um, did you have a coach session, a couch session with GK as well, like everybody else? Um, no, not um, one on one, uh, but um, I definitely learned a lot out of uh, those sessions. So uh, just mental toughness for me. So being able to be strong within myself and uh, amongst other people. Um, and also expressing myself as a Pacific Islander as well, being able to express that. Uh, not, many, not many people would um, appreciate or um, be able to relate to Pacific Islanders and how we react and how we're, we're possibly a bit quiet in terms of um, being in the coaching system and, and whatnot. So um, I think it's really about um, expressing yourself uh, as a Samoan uh, personally and um, just expressing that to, towards people. And, Make them understand. But um, in terms of goals, um, currently I'm, I'm buying for a sport with the Wallabies, so um, it's all about just working hard uh, week in, week out, and just uh, having the faith, knowing that I'll do the best that I can and God will do the rest. Mm. Have a look at that photo. Um, describe the feeling and the emotion that you had when uh, you guys won the Premiership that night. Uh, it was a mixture of things. Um, I think in this photo, um, the best thing about it was being, being with my brother, so we were with the Lofa Lofa. Um, he'd come a long way. Um, he's Simone uh, the as well, so being able to see him come up the ranks. Um, we were starting at the start of the year and we were able to capitalise uh, on finishing uh, with a win, so um, it was amazing for both of us. So basically, in, that, in, in this photo, it's, just capturing our joy and the joy that we share with our family. Mm. Yeah. All right, for aspiring young Pacific kids, um, what values do they need to hold or stick to um, in order to break into the top grade and stay there? I think the most thing, uh, the best thing about, um, well, I, I, I base myself on Israel for Laos, so um, it's just being able to stay humble, uh, knowing your roots and um, being able to stay true, even though the outside influences are there. Um, just being able to keep your, your, your core values strong, so being humble, um, if I sell more and all those things that um, keep you who you are, but also being able to be open to other experiences um, and being able to uh, shine in those circumstances and those environments. So how does that translate to um, being picked and being being targeted, being identified by the, the important people, the coaches, the selectors, how does that translate to that? Um, I think it's mostly just being, being able to put yourself out there, putting your hand up, because uh, I think as Islanders we're very quiet in terms of um, our attributes and, and what we can bring, and I think um, the attributes that we do have will definitely shine if we're at the forefront of being confident and uh, confident in our ability. So, um, being able to show what you're about. And uh, for the parents, what is important for parents to 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 be aware of and to, to practice in terms of supporting their 
specific kids um, succeed in their sport, their chosen sport? Um, I'd, I'd say um, it's, for, for me personally it wasn't all about uh, rugby, so my parents really uh, guided me in terms of the things that are outside of rugby. Um, there needs to be a balance in terms of being able to play rugby and your life outside of rugby. Um, if you've got all your eggs in one basket, well then um, it, it'll lead you to situations where you become depressed and where you're putting all your emphasis on one thing, where, uh, where you have a balance in your life, whether it's God, or whether it's religion, whether it's um, schooling, whether it's rugby, just having a balance in life and being able to support both situations, I think, um, will come a long way in terms of uh, a player's development as a Pacific Island. So you studied uh, American history? Yep. Did you finish that? No, I haven't finished okay. that, so I branched out into, I'm currently doing an advanced diploma of uh, management, so right. um, I know it's, it, it's, it isn't much, but it's ticking the boxes for me and um, it, it fits to my schedule. So how do you plan to use um, um, the diploma and um, is it management? Yeah, so how do you... yeah well that, that, that part is, um, ticks off credit points and towards um, uh, getting a degree later on, so I obviously want to go into business um, later on and I'll, I'll, I'll pursue a degree um, with Sydney University later on in the track, but uh, for now it's just ticking the boxes and just being able to, I don't know, just whilst my career is going at the moment, just basically just ticking off what I can. Mm. So last and uh, final question, uh, for those who are interested, are you available? Uh, yes, I am available. Um, yeah. Are you seeing anyone at the moment? You're not seeing anybody at the moment? No, I'm not seeing anyone. Um, Alright, no worries, man. Uh, thanks very much for Pacific Illustrated and your interview. Um, I really want to reach out and support Pacific Islander community. And uh, keep, keep tuned and watch out for us.